Good morning, it is Sunday and today I need to get schoolwork done. In my vlog yesterday, I said the same thing and then I barely got anything done. But I feel like when I'm out, I'm doing things like I don't want to and then I just procrastinate and then I don't get done when I need to get done um, when it comes to school because it's just not my fave thing in the world. Um, but today, like I need to get it done. So there's actually this coffee shop right by my apartment that I haven't been to yet. There's two right next to each other, which I think is funny. Um, but the one I haven't been to yet, so I want to try that out. Something different, because um, I have been to the other one. But this one looks really cute online. Um, I just have to hope that there's seats for me to do my homework in. But then that way too, like, I'm right by the apartment. If I get hungry for lunch or whatever, I can like come back and eat, whatever. So I'm just gonna go there. But first, um, I just woke up like probably like a half hour ago um, and I'm gonna meditate. Cause I didn't yesterday and it just sets me up for the day and like resets my mind, makes me feel good. So I'm gonna go do that and then catch up with you after. I'm all finished with meditating and it went really well today. I literally feel like I could meditate for hours and be totally fine and happy because you're just sitting there and it's peaceful and it's great. Um, but anyway, I remembered that uh, my roommate Adina and I may be going to see our other roommate at Macy's today but to just talk a little bit, what was I going to say before? I knew I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, the reason why I go to like a coffee shop for homework. Um, I've tried to do school here, but I just feel like doing school in my apartment is just kind of unproductive. This is my happy place. This is my place where I want to come home and relax and not have to worry about or anything like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's why I do that. But I also like to just get out because I feel like I do schoolwork so much. The other thing I wanted to talk about was just an update on my life. Um, I started this YouTube channel uh, during quarantine. I started it when I was living at my parents' house. I was living in New Jersey. Um, it was like a beachy town. It was before I even had my job at the salon I was working at in New Jersey. So I had started working at a salon and I was doing hair and makeup and everything. Um, and that was like af right after quarantine. I was working at one before and then it shut down. And then um, after quarantine, I started working at a different one, which I loved literally most favorite job I've ever had. I actually have like lifelong friends from it. It's so amazing to be able to say that. And you know, my life has changed a lot since then. I was just talking to Adini yesterday about how weird it is, how life can change so drastically, so quickly. I, like I said, I just told you what my life was like, you know, right after quarantine and, um, you know, that I worked at that salon for a whole year. So that was like close to a year that I didn't post anything on this channel. And then in October of this year, so it was October 1st, I had moved to New York with my two roommates. We came to pursue our true dreams. And that was something that I did talk about in the first um, video that I posted on this channel when I was like talking about myself and um, my goals did change since that video in the sense of like 
certain things. So my dream since I was a kid was always to act and be an actor and be in film. So I moved here to pursue that. And in that other video, I was talking about how I went to cosmetology school to be able to do hair and makeup in film and while I was trying to be an actress and this and that. And while that's true, uh, it's currently not something that I am doing because I don't have as much of a love for it as I feel like I did, which is hard because you know, I really did enjoy it, but at the same time, when I went to cosmetology school, that was never something that I had always wanted to do. When I was a kid, I would, like, play hair salon or whatever, like how you would play house. I would play hair salon with my cousins. So it was always something that I thought as a kid would be fun, and it is super fun, but it was never a dream of mine to do that. Ever. And I am such a huge believer in following your dreams. I don't care how difficult it is or how difficult somebody may tell you that it's going to be. I think it's so important to go after that because it's your life and what literally what you have to lose. You can always turn around and go pick the safe route if something bad goes wrong, you know. Um, so I just, I needed to come to New York and just really focus on making my true dreams happen, which is to act. And it's been going pretty well, <laughs> um, which I am extremely, extremely grateful for. Moving here has been the best decision I've ever made. And it was nine days after I moved here I ended up signing a contract with my manager for acting which is really really exciting and a huge step something I've dreamt about for forever to have representation and to be able to have somebody help me make this career really thrive um so that was like super surreal um so that happened and then I've been getting a couple auditions and you know I'm just living the auditioning life right now and working to you know make that my job and I agree with people when you know they say that acting is like so hard and this and that and like it is because you get more no's than you get yeses that's a very common thing in the industry and like it's very hard to succeed on like a large scale but to me even getting the opportunity to have a manager or getting the opportunity to audition in general or getting the opportunity to live in New York those things to me are success and I have gotten so far in such a short amount of time I feel like I've gotten so far like to me I have checked off multiple things on my like dream life wish list or whatever you want to call it and it all happened in a month and a half so I just have worked hard and in the sense of it can be really hard to stick to your dreams and stick to what you want in life when there's a lot of people telling you you shouldn't because it's too hard but um it's very 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 rewarding when you go after what you really love and what you really want to do because life is simply just the best when you do. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just, I just wanted to give like a little overview of where my life is right now because there is such a difference in it from where I started this um, YouTube channel. So 
yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, and I'm very much enjoying what I'm doing and following my dreams and I'm really enjoying the process. It's part of the fun of it, you know? So I just think the biggest thing is just always follow your dreams. Like, I don't care what it is. There's going to be so many people who tell you no or that it's going to be too hard or you're not going to like it or it's not what you think it is or this or that or whatever. If you truly, truly love what you dream of pursuing in life, just do it. Ignore what other people have to say. Some people, I mean, okay, my biggest thing is take advice. You know, bring in the advice, listen to it, hear what people have to say. But the best people to take advice from are the people who are living the life that you want. Because if somebody is living a life of you know, just something that's completely not at all what you want in life, why take life advice from that person? You know, again, absorb it. There's probably some good um, things in there that they say that will help with certain things. But if it's about following your goals and your dreams and your true passion and you have this fire in your gut telling you that you have every right and every ability to go after that and then there's somebody telling you that you shouldn't do that it's not smart it's not this it's not that and that person who's telling you all of those things has never tried to go after their dream why are you listening to them because that's just not why take that advice if you're trying to be here? It just doesn't make sense to me. That's kind of how I view it. But again, absorb it with respect and then move on your merry way and do your thing. Because I have to say, it. this is just the best thing that I've ever done. And I'm really, really grateful to be living with friends who have similar um, desires and you know, goals. My roommates are both um, actors as well, and they're doing really well. I just cut that out because I had said exciting news that I don't like about my roommates that I don't think I should say because I don't think they're allowed to say it yet. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> exciting things are happening, and I'm really, really grateful to be living with people who are really wanting the same things as me because we all get each other. It's just, it's good. Life is good. Uh, surround yourself with people who support you and who believe in you and who want the best for you and want you to follow your dreams and will support you no matter what because it's your life and you deserve to live your life to the fullest extent of what you believe it should be. I'm going to finish doing my hair and makeup and then go to this coffee shop so I can try to bang out some homework before we go to Macy's. So I will see you very shortly. Here's my outfit for today. Uh, I just have this sweater, I think from H&M. Um, these leather pants from Aritzia, they're the Molina pants, and then Doc Martens. And that's it. There's my fit. I'm back home. That did not go fully as planned. <laughs> um, and it was a little bit of a waste of money. But it's fine. Everything happens for a reason, right? So, I went to this one coffee shop. And I had gotten a cold brew and a banana bread. But they only had vegan banana bread, okay? So I was like, whatever. It's probably fine. Take a bite of the banana bread. Hard as a rock, okay? This thing was so dense. I've never had banana bread this dense in my life. But that was like maybe because it's vegan, but I don't know. Like, people who eat vegan, like, there's still good vegan stuff. 
I don't know. I don't know. It was just hard as a rock. Then I go to pull out my laptop. And the guy comes over to me. He's like, sorry, we don't no laptops here on the weekends. And I'm like... And he was like, give, gives me like the time, I don't know, Monday to whenever, something until 2 p.m. I don't know. And I was just like, okay, so I can't even do my, can't even do my homework here. So I chug the cold brew and then eat like half of the, um, the banana bread. That's all I could do. It was just like painful. And then I threw it out, left, went to the coffee shop next door, bought a um, muffin because I was so hungry and the banana bread was just, you know, what it was. So I had eaten that muffin because I had to buy something. But then I was doing schoolwork. Then my computer starts to die. <laughs> and there was not a outlet next to me. And the entire coffee shop was filled with people. So, I couldn't plug it in. So now I'm back home to have a salad and get my schoolwork done. But good news, we're going to Macy's. We're going to Santa Land today. So I'm excited for that. And I'm taking you along. Let's go. We're going to see Abernathy. Oh, I'm so excited. forest of lights, you're going to wave to the trains, you're going to say hello, you're going to say hi to the dancing pigs, and you're going to keep on walking, and you're going to find Santa Claus in the Christmas village, okay? Okay, thank you. Alrighty, enjoy. They address this one to the reindeer. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are we funny. doing today? Good! Good! Good. 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 I'm wonderful. Getting ready for the holiday season. Yes! Very busy, very busy. Yes. Very busy. Yes. And what would you like for Christmas this year? Oh, uh, what do I want for Christmas? What do you I want for know. Christmas? Uh, I want a nice vacuum. A nice oh. vacuum. Yeah! Oh, I want that too. 
too. Oh, you want that too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two vacuums. Yeah. And have like well, one vacuum. Um, sure. Really like a raise. At work. A raise at work? Yeah. I don't know if that can be put into a box though. Well, you know, I get asked for that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I will say to you what I say to everyone. I'll do my part and you do yours. Oh. All right. It's a promise. All right? It's a yes. promise. Fabulous. That was the last exciting thing for the day. Uh, we saw Santa and Abernathy. Santa! Uh, yeah, now we're going to get food, so thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!